Hi to everybody in Mayo. It's great to see seven wonderful community groups across Mayo doing great work to protect the environment, biodiversity and address climate change. And I'm really pleased to see Mary Costello of the PPN, the Public Participation Partnership in Mayo, working with the Office of Climate Action in Mayo, County Council, to, to really highlight this great work that these communities are doing. And they've now produced seven short videos which are now up on the websites of the ppn.ie and the mayo.ie websites, which available to everybody to look at this work and to appreciate the great work that these groups have been doing. So there are seven projects and seven videos involved in this. And I'm going to just go through quickly through each one of these. The first of these is Carl Loftus in Mulrani explaining the green plan for Mulrani and of course the, um, the food drop box which they're undertaking now. So in other words, food that is in good condition and not perishable food, but that would otherwise go wasted, is now being collected and going into a food box. And I think that's saving food waste is a very important issue. And in, in, you know, it's something that we underestimate the value of food waste. So it's great to see that going on in Mulrani. The second one is coming from Niall Kelly in Murrisk, and it's about Barter Beach and the dunes which are being severely eroded from, from climate change, number one, and you know storm surges that are affecting the dunes, and also then from damage that people are doing just by walking through the dunes and damaging the marram grass and basically causing destruction to it. So this group is now is restoring these dunes and, and the beach, and it's really wonderful because we're going to lose an all of, a lot of these beaches with climate change and we have to realise that sea level is rising and more intensive storm surges are occurring in the Atlantic and we're going to see much more pressure on our coastal areas and it's so important to see communities out there actively protecting these dunes and these beaches and the biodiversity associated with these natural habitats. The third video is from Ballina and it's St Mary's Secondary School who I know and great teachers there and great pupils. I gave a talk there once and wonderful, wonderful people. And they're doing a project now on community cleanup in, in Ballina and they're working with the Ballina Green Town and the Believe in Ballina initiative which are really important initiatives going on in Ballina. A great town doing really good environmental work at the moment, really active group down there. And the whole spirit of volunteerism is really important which is going on down there and the collaboration between everybody in the community, working together. But they're also doing, uh, looking at the transport issues of Ballina, and they've got, they're looking at this 10 minute town for walking and cycling, encouraging people not to be driving into the town and causing congestion and air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions, but to be kind of really enjoying the wonderful town of Ballina. It's a beautiful town, and walking and cycling is the way. Cars driving to the town do massive damage. So it's great to see this because every town in Ireland needs to follow what Ballina is doing. The next one is Valla Community, who have a community development association who are now doing work to protect parks and enhance parks and woodland walks and biodiversity, wildflower meadows, uh, species rich grassland gardens, and you know, also doing a lot of work to kind of bring down their use of fossil fuel and, and, and convert to renewable energy where possible. To, to basically address climate change. So really good people in Bala doing wonderful work. The next group is in Bangor Eris, and this community are looking to restoring their parish hall and refurbished it. So they've now done a very important work in this and they've also made the, the parish hall much more energy efficient by retrofitting it and thereby reducing CO2 emissions. Great work out there in Bangor Eris, lovely small community in under if you like those beautiful mountains of and up near Ballycroy National Park. Wonderful. The thing I'd say to kind of to Bangor Eris community, it would be really great to see your village taking the lead with the whole dark sky initiative that's taking place in your region in the Neffin Mountains, in 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 Mulcra Mul Mulrani and in Newport. And I think the great work going on there to kind of protect nature in this wonderful uh, national park by reducing artificial light and 
you know, being able to appreciate the dark sky at night time. And so important because artificial light all over the world is doing massive damage to wildlife and to nature. So I would love to see Bangor Eris join up with Georgia McMullen and all the others that are working in the Dark Sky Initiative also because you're a really important community to engage in this. So great, keep up the great work you're doing down there at the moment. The next project is in Turmakiti and this is the sustainable energy community there who have already retrofitted 60 houses with, with deep energy retrofits. That's an incredible achievement. That represents about 10% of the overall housing stock of, 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 of the village of Turmakiti. That's a great achievement. And they've also retrofitted community buildings. So all I can say is if you're on this road now, if you can get all of your houses retrofit, that's the big challenge now ahead. But 10% is an incredible achievement what you've done so far. So keep up the good work. And then all the other things you're doing in, in looking after other aspects to do with the environment in the town. Great, keep up the work that you're doing. And I, it's wonderful to think that you've come from the incredibly poor standard of F-rated, B-E-R rating in houses, all the way up to B rating. That's a big, big achievement. Well done. The seventh video is from the Moy River Trust in Ballina, where Raymond and Jennifer describe how they set up this trust, the importance of such a trust for the river Moy, in protecting it against problems of water pollution etc and in enhancing that water quality but also in planting wildflowers around the river banks and creating public awareness of the importance of the river and engaging with farmers and local landlords in terms of the whole kind of restoration and improvement of the River Moy. We, we would have featured the River Moy in one of our episodes of EcoI some years back and I totally appreciated having walked the full kind of catchment of the river from Loch Con all the way to, to the sea in Kalala. You know, I do appreciate the really important river, Moy, and the quality of that water is still quite good, but you really need to protect it. And it's great to see the trust set up. Something, by the way, I would suggest that if you have a river trust there, maybe joining up with um, the Carib Bio River T Trust, because they're also trying to do similar things. And I think both of you communities could learn from each other of ways to protect your river catchment. So fantastic what you're doing with the River Trust. Thanks to Jennifer and Raymond for that particular video. These seven videos are available on the mayoppn.ie website and on the mayo.ie website, which is the County Council website. So really good to look at and maybe for other communities watching to maybe get some good ideas and to look to what projects they could do and start doing for next year. So fantastic. Keep up the good work there in County Mayo. Mayo PPN, your voice, your community. For more information, visit mayoppn.ie.